Celestine Chua was a child when her parents and teachers began to sing it in her ears that her objective in life was to be successful and financially abundant, pointing at certain celebrities, successful businessmen, corporate leaders and local politicians as models to follow. As a result, it was clear what she needed to do. Go to school, get good grades, get a good job, earn a huge amount of salary and eventually become successful. Since Celestine was too young to understand what it meant to choose one's path and explore one's potential, she trusted in the judgment of those around her and followed suit. Besides, they were taught in school that asking questions was a sign of defiance and they should never ask questions. It was a typical Chinese culture about conformance. Celestine lived her life following what parents and everyone else wanted. She was the brightest kid in her school and a consistent recipient of awards. Things, however, became interesting in Celestine's life when she got her first computer at age 15. For the first time ever, she began to see things differently and was ready to explore as much as possible. A friend of hers had told her about a man who had a lot of money online from his website. Although her goal back then was to just make money, Celestine soon discovered that she could be like him and even do better only if she believed she could. Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Motor Company and business mogul known for his business skills and bravery, once said something profound about discovering one's potential and limitations. In this video, I'll share with you one of Henry Ford's advice about learning to harness one's potential. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, the business mogul once said that there is no man living that cannot do more than he thinks he can. Everyone who found out this truth at some point in their lives ended up living extraordinary lives and they all became successful. Anne Frank, a German-born Dutch Jewish diarist, said, Everyone has inside of him a piece of good news. The good news is that you don't know how great you can be, how much you can love, what you can accomplish, and what your potential is. Also, according to Christian D. Larson, American author and teacher, believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. We can only go as far as we believe is possible, which is why every leader who has succeeded in the past pushed hard beyond every limitation whatsoever and eventually became a leader in their respective fields. So Ichiro Honda, the man who founded Honda Cars, didn't think he could make a thing like that because he initially set out to make a small piston. Impossibility is only a product of what we believe which is why what is impossible to one person might not be impossible to another given the same circumstance. Whatever is possible is attributed to the mind that can conceive it. You have the potential to be anything you want," said Fran Watson. Again, there is no man living that cannot do more than he thinks he can. How to harness your potential and become great Every one of us, irrespective of our background and past, has equal potential. The extent to which we are willing to maximize it makes the difference. Marianne Williamson said, The difference between those people living their potential and those who don't is not the amount of potential itself but the amount of permission they give themselves to live in the present. To harness your potential, you need to 1. Identify what you are good at or what you want to be good at. To unlock your potential, you have to find out what you are good at or what you would love to become good at. Find out what makes you stand out from the rest of the world. Are you someone who enjoys sports or physical activities or someone who loves intellectual activities? The goal is to highlight your skills as much as possible. We are all good at a few things but there is one area we do exceptionally well. When you discover what that area is, you are well on your way to discovering your potential. 2. Master your craft Once you have discovered where your strength lies, it is time to work it out. 
Mastering your craft means constantly practicing the one thing you have set out your mind to do until you become a recognized master in it. You have to be willing to invest your time, effort and energy into developing your talent. Of course, it takes a lot of hard work, consistency and patience, but it is achievable. Let's take some of the world's best athletes for instance. They didn't become the best by mere luck. It took them years of practice and total dedication. It's like the story of two farmers paid to cut down two trees. Every man to his own tree. While farmer A took time to sharpen his tools properly to ensure a smooth and easy cutting, farmer B went ahead to start cutting. Eventually, farmer A did a better job and spent far less time than farmer B. Why? Farmer A was wise enough to hone his craft, which was his tool in this case. Again, there is no man living that cannot do more than he thinks he can. He just has to be willing and ready to push himself. Also, honing one's craft or mastering one's craft means stepping out of one's comfort zone. You have to be ready to do more than what others are doing and become extraordinary. It requires determination and focus, which is why so many people aren't living to their full potentials. They are not willing to either make sacrifices or step out of their comfort zone. 3. Explore the world of imagination You have mastered your craft. What next? Think outside the box. How do you stand out from everyone else who is doing something similar to what you're doing if you are only willing to go as far as everyone else? What happened to going farther than the rest of them? As a matter of fact, who says you have to go the same direction as others? However, we can only achieve it if we think we can. There is no man living that cannot do more than he thinks he can. Henry Ford This means that as long as you think you can, then you can. Now, if this is the case, maybe it's time we started thinking more and exploring the world of imagination. When Celestine realized she could be like the man a friend told her about, the man who made money via his website, she wanted to be like him and do more. Celestine started to learn how to make websites by herself by reading online. She would spend late nights tinkering with codes, graphics, FTP and consulting others in web hosting chart rooms. She learned a lot about online marketing and monetization. When she eventually created her site, she built her content from scratch. Two years later, she had created a total of 10 sites and had reached half a million visitors a month, an extremely high traffic milestone and started getting checks from advertisers on a regular basis. How was Celestine able to build 10 sites in 2 years even though she had no prior knowledge of programming and coding? The answer is simple. There is no man living that cannot do more than he thinks he can. Henry Ford Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now look at your screen to see two other videos we unpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.